Okay, welcome back. So, after reports and custom reports and whatnot, I thought I'd just take a dive over and look at the uh, jobs and tasks. So, under Manage, Jobs and Tasks. So, these these tasks... So, years ago, Altiris, as you see, this web page was called the Notification Server, which it still is known today. But there was a piece called the Deployment Server, the Deployment Solution. That was the Now tool. This interface was always a... Yeah, set up patches, set up software delivery to go on a certain date, time. It wasn't your now tool. So what they've done is they've actually taken the deployment solution, deployment server, and they've actually incorporated it in as task server. So we, if you've been following through the videos, I already cloned one of them to check client machines in, which you'll see here. If we come over here, this machine last checked in 11.33. So it's almost ready again. Um, we're just going to do a quick run. Admin PC and run. What we'll see is this will update. Okay. Come on. Oh, there we go. So it checked in 1226, which is when we ran this. We come over here, click details, and it says it finished. So this is one little example. Now they have samples here of what you can do. Let's see, inventory, I think it was processor, notification server, so collect hardware inventory. Here we got DIR pause, we'll quick run this. As you see, it's just a command. Okay. Once this goes, it takes yeah, a couple seconds. Tasks. Okay. Come on. Check in. There we go. See? It's running. Refresh this. DIR pause, there's the job. So you can do all kinds of stuff. So it looks like tasks haven't changed. Find file, restart computer, server directory SQL. Let's see what else we got. Now some of these, as you saw in patch management, pertain to actual solutions themselves. Like this here. Quick delivery, you can deliver an application. Uh, do we have a sample? Uh, okay, so you got to figure out which one of these it is. And this always confuses me. Let's take a quick peek. Server job. As you can see, the icons will represent. So this, we can add another task. We can sequence them through. Not what I want. Let's do client job. I bet it's regular task. Yeah. Here we go. Here's all the different things you can do. All right, server maintenance. Yeah, you can create your own. Update BIOS settings. Deployment. Here we go. We can create an image, deploy an image. So task server still looks about the same okay can we change I'll oh, check this out all right so let's take a look at this so if we take a look here we're set to high performance turn display off never put to sleep never all right, let's do. Well, I'll we'll just leave this. Okay. Okay. Power scheme. We're going to move this up. Come on, drag and drop. Okay, we're going to put it here. We're going to call this, we're going to rename it um, Accounting Power Scheme. Okay. 
So you can either do one of two things, which you just saw. I just did a quick run, and I can click click there. Or if when you actually notice when I clicked on this, went like this. See how the all computers came up? Sorry about that. My son was gaming all night last night and killed my headset again. Alright, so we're going to say schedule now. Okay, it's running. It's queued. Come on. Check for tasks will help bump it along. Alright, new task received. Counting power scheme. Says it ran. Let's take a look. Look at that. It even called it a counting power scheme. Check that out. And there's all of our settings. Cool. So with that, that's actually pretty neat. Let's uh, close out of here. Let's clone this. And we're going to call this one Lab Full Power. Power scheme. Okay, plugged in. Never. 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 Now, we're never on battery because they're VMs, but we'll still just run through. We'll save this. We'll do a quick run. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're not going to do a quick run. We're going to schedule this now. On uh, computers or devices. We're missing a machine. AD, Altiris. Alright, that's fine. I know one of these guys wouldn't let me change to power scheme. Okay, let's take a look. Come on, wake up, will you? Alright, check SQL. Lab full power. That's cool. How about this one? This one does not appear to be responding well. Alright. No biggie. Alright. But we come back down here. Take a look. They all have gone. Good. Alright, so many tasks are easy as you see. You can you can do scripts and with the scripts I give an example. That the IR pause. You actually have alright, we're gonna clone it. Okay. You actually have command, Apple, Java, Perl, PowerShell. So you have a lot of choices here, VB script. You can insert tokens computer name, you can insert certain things, so you can create these however you want. It's actually a lot to them. And you can even stack things. You know, update the client config, set set the power settings, do a processor inventory. Let's uh come on. Let's do this. Curious, what does it look like? Okay. So it's 
set get IP. I must just update the local inventory. So I guess if you have a machine, it's still communicating. But that's tasks, something small, something simple. Like I said, there's a lot of them here. The one downside to these is we don't have the ability to report on them, and I would love to be able to report on them. Um, I agree, start services, computers, send emails. So we actually use um, automation policies, which will actually send emails, which uses the task piece. All right, well, it was a short video.